Hello and welcome to the South Texas College Library Database Spotlight videos. For this episode, I'm going to be going over the database art store and all the neat things that you'll be able to do with it. I'm Anna, an academic outreach librarian here at South Texas College, and I will be your guide. When you're at our library website, library.southtexascollege.edu, there are two places to access our databases. One is on the focus search on our discovery search toolbar, and the other is under research tools on the left hand side of our website. This week's episode is Art Store, so I'm going to look under A. Art Store has their own blog. The first new blog post may actually be helpful to faculty and staff members. It is Teaching with Art Store and it has great tips on how to use their images for different disciplines. Here you can see there's Art Store and STEM. So if you're in math or science, there could be some great tips here for you. You can register and log into Art Store for free. If you log in, you can save pictures, place them in a group that you created, or you can even upload your own pictures into your own private personal collection. If you go into Browse, you can browse through the images of the art store collections, the institutional collections, public collections, if you're logged in and you uploaded some pictures, your own personal collections, or groups. And groups is what I want to show you right now. If you look on the left hand side, you can actually filter through the groups. So you can filter by institutional, art store curated, or the different tags that people place on their groups. If you choose painting, then you can search through all the groups that have the group tag for painting. Once you click on a group, or if you created your own group, you can actually export all of the pictures that are in that group into a PowerPoint or a zip file. If you only want to select like two, you can just select two and export those. The other two great features that I want to show you are study and present. If you click on study, you'll get a huge image of the different pictures and you can zoom in pretty closely. You can also scroll through them if you'd like as well. The next amazing feature is to present. So once you click here, you can actually see on the top right hand corner, compare. So you can come in here and just click on another picture that you want to compare it to and zoom in on each side. So let's say I want to zoom in on this horse's face here and then zoom in on this deer's face here just to see the differences. You can do that. I want to go back to the home page so I can actually show you the search art store search bar. Let's say that you have a research paper and it's about Albert Einstein. So once you get your search results, on the left hand side you can see all the filter options available for your search results. Again, you can select certain images that you want and if you come to organize, if you're logged in, you can save your selections to a new group or save your selections to an existing group that you already have. If you're curious about an image, you can click on it and find out more information about the origins, the date that it was taken, and the source. What's neat is that here you have a little picture of the image and then you have a bigger picture and on the bigger picture you can zoom in and there's a red box on the smaller image to tell you where exactly you are in the picture. Here on the top right hand side you can add it to a group, you can download it, you can cite this item, or you can copy this URL. The print preview has the picture in a tiny image 
and it has all the item details in a nice text box for you. Another neat thing too is that here on the top left hand side you can do the present and then find another picture to compare it with from your search results. Also if you want to find out more in the collection where it came from you can click on it and view all the images that are within that collection. Thank you for joining me on this episode of the Database Spotlight video. I hope I was able to help you figure out some new tricks with the Database Art Store. Until next time, bye!